Hello children, good morning. I am your Atasvi teacher from St. Thomas School. Today we are going to learn our SS subject. In previous videos we have seen till our unit number 2. I hope you all have written question answers and exercises in your fair book. Today we are going to learn our unit number 3. The name of our unit is Ancient Time, Towns and Scriptures. This chap this unit also we have seen our in our old textbook. So I will read it. Okay. We often hear two words culture and civilization. Do you know its meaning? Culture is a matter related to human life. You can underline this. Culture is a matter related to human life. While civilization is developed by human being, which he creates with his own caliber, skill and creative skills. You can underline this also. Civilization is developed by human being, which he creates with his own caliber, skill and creative skills. Egypt Mesopotamia, India, China, Rome exhibit such great civilization of human society. Centuries old civilization still inspire human life. Means old civilization still inspire our human life. Out of this civilization we shall study about Harappan civilization. Among from among all the civilization, we will learn about Harappan civilization. We know Harappan civilization also as Indus Valley civilization. You can underline this. We know Harappan civilization also as a Indus Valley civilization. Remains of these civilizations were first discovered from Harappa in 1921. You have, you, have, you have to underline this also. Remains of this civilization were first discovered from Harappa in 1921. You have to remember this year. Many of the places, the civilization in the north and west part of India include Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Lothal, Tholavira, Kalibang, Rakhigarh-Agadhi, etc. Means, the many places of civilization in the northwest part of India are, means the where the northwest part of India, where civilizations are seen are Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Lothal, Dhalavira, Kalibangan and Rakhigati. See the location of places of Harappa civilization in the map 3.1. Let's get introduction of town planning of some of the major cities and their features. Now first topic is town planning. We have this we have seen this town planning in all the textbook also, okay? Organized town planning was the most important feature of Harappan civilization. All the towns were planned in a similar way. Means all the towns were like same. In all the places fort was on west yard side and colony of common people on the east side highway separated both of them means fort was on west side and colony of common people was in east side and in between them there were there was a highway which separate both the uh, side means fort and colony of common people. 
the fort on the west was surrounded by the fortune most probably rulers would have lived in the fort means those who were ruling they were living in the fort bricks were often used in their town structure means bricks were used in, for planning the town structure let's study about various features of harappan civilization many features of harappan civilization was their organized house arrangement means the main feature of harappan civilization is was their arrange house arrangement houses were constructed on high platforms to protect them from flood and dampness we have also seen in previous means in old book that the houses were on constructed on hard platforms so if flood will come then there will be water will not come inside the houses one of the feature of house of arappa was that the main gate opened in the lanes rather than towards the main road hence single and double stored houses were seen roads were also very comfortable there were two highways of the city one of which connected north with south and the other connected with east with west means there were two highways one which connected from north side to the south side and one which which connect from east side to west side this is the example of public bath of mahanjo daro here streets were parallel to the main road road inter- intersected each other at a right angle roads and streets were organized in such a manner that the whole town would be divided into squares and rectangular sections evidence of night light system has also been obtained on the public roads there was highly developed and systematic system for disposal of water in harappan civilization the water from each house flowed into small sewer and also from small sewer to the large sewer water from the large sewer flowed out to the town means the drainage system was like this from each house is the drain or the waste will be flowed into small sewer then from small sewer it will flowed into large sewer and from the large sewer it will be flowed into town or to the town of the city a public bath has been found in mohenjodaro in the center of this public bath is a pond for bathing there are steps arranged on both sides to get into the pond there are changing rooms around the pond means there was a public bath from in the mohenjodaro May, uh, means a public bath means it is a pond and in pond there are steps on both the sides so from both the sides people can enter uh, into it and there were changing room also for changing the clothes around the pond here you can see the this is the public bath this public bath would have been used on festivals or religious occasions in addition to this pillared houses used as assembly halls have been found in mohenjo daro harappa is an archaeological site located in M- 
मॉन्ट चौमारी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ पंजाब करंटली इन पाकिस्तान हरप्पा मस्ट हैव बीन द मेन टाउन ऑफ हिंदू सिविलाइजेशन यू कैन अंडरलाइन दिस हरप्पा मस्ट हैव बीन द मेन टाउन ऑफ हिंदू वैली सिविलाइजेशन द मेन फीचर ऑफ हरप्पा इज इट्स ग्रेनरी अबाउट ट्वेल्व ग्रेन स्टोर हैव बीन फाउंड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर रावी मीन्स ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर रावी द आर्कोलॉजिट्स हैव फाउंड ट्वेल्व ग्रेन स्टोर टू स्टोर द ग्रेन्स लोथल इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ डियर चिल्ड्रन यू कैन अंडरलाइन दिस ऑल्सो हरप्पा इज एन आर्कोलॉजिकल स्टार्ट लोकेटेड इन मॉन्टो झोमेरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ पंजाब करंटली इन पाकिस्तान एंड यू कैन अंडरलाइन दिस ऑल्सो लोथल इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ भोगावो रिवर इन धोलका तालुका इन अहमदाबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट लोथल वॉज अ कॉमर्शियल पॉट एंड इंडस्ट्रियल टाउन इन एंशंट टाइम्स A structure made out of bricks have been found in Lothal. It is considered that it must have been a dockyard. It can be assumed that the vessels or ships arriving here were used for loading and unloading of goods. Means local Lothal is famous as a dockyard. and it is assumed that goods were loaded and unloaded from lothal in addition warehouses and bead factory have been found here so it can be said that lothal was a prosperous port of ancient india and international trade of harappa civilization must have been done through the port of local means the uh, sending of goods and for importing the goods and for exporting the goods the center was lothal means in ancient times the goods were exported from the lothals and from the foreign countries the goods were imported and were came to the lothal so dear children rest of the unit we will see in our next video thank you